body politic or scenes from the past, present, future and beyond. All gods and monsters. All gods and politicians. Or what do you get when you put all the world's politicians at the bottom of the ocean? A good start. All <laughs> part one, play one, the state of the nation. What is the state of the nation? Grim outlooks of death and taxation and the certainty of long-standing suffering now buffering. The red line eked out by blindness rather than kindness, not to mention the wake of destruction. If we take a sample of just one area we share, it doesn't take Marple or Poirot to locate the sorrow in the eyes of the girls and boys. Without their toys, or their love, or their happiness, reboxed, relabeled as weariness. This is serious. I ask you. Tell me what the state of play is. What the right and wrong way is. Make a nation wake up and stand up, step up to the trouble all around us. All the fight and all the fuss. And the leaders who lead us help the needy who need us. Don't stand by, but try and try and try and try and try and try. There's, There's more fish, fish to fry for this nation that stands by rather than fight for the rights and the freedoms that light all of our souls that are now covered in darkness. The sheer fear of what's in store, knowing we've been here before and still not learnt, but burnt ourselves and again and again and again. And what for? Like there aren't textbooks teaching the warning signs. Not one says it's going to be fine because you know that would be madness. 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 And that's what it is. That's its likeness. And you know. You know, yet you pretend you don't know. Your eyes open in bed. Another day you're not dead. And you smile. Because instead of a war outside your door, you get into your new car and drive to the back, where you shake hands and thank a man who, through his own plans, spun the world into decline and chaos. It's a fact. That's a fact. It's an unquestionable fact. So compare your life. So compare your life. When you draw your money and the green colour makes a sunny outlook for those at the top, as I said. Not the children of war. Not the nurse at the food banks. Not the old people who lay dead in their bed from the cold, remembered only because they're old. Not the protesters chained to green things, the last of those things. Not the animals bred to be eaten or sheared or beaten or tested on. Not the boys and girls marginalized and ostracized and made to feel different because they cut themselves or eat too much and such. Because of what you and your friends taught them. With your, With your magazines, magazines and, and your, your idealistic stick. A and universal, unattainable level of perfection. It's, it's not perfection. It's depression and suppression. It's, it's obsession. And not one person can penetrate these walls in our minds. Not, not to, to mention the, the real walls we're building and gilding gold. So as long as those on one side abide by us and don't, don't get their grubby hands on it, making marks, making imprints, telling generations after they were here. They were there. They were inside and all around us. They were everywhere. But we didn't care. And it's these aspects we should and must inspect. The actions and the shit of a body politic. Because what they get away with is born of our own creation. Our singular, collective, disrespecting, worldwide affecting creation. And that, my friends, is 
is a motherfucking cunting state of the nation.